guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my end of month video i didn't post it on thursday so it's a bonus video for you guys so yeah i'm not going to talk long because a lot of stuff didn't happen really in september per se but you know i wanted to keep the tradition going like i said i've been doing this since january and i might as well just end the rest of this year off strong you know what i mean so if you like this video don't forget to thumbs it up don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified and yeah let's just get into this very quick end of the month talk video you know all right so First thing first, before we get into it, if you want to see this look, I um, have it coming up soon. It's not the next video you guys will see. It'll probably be the video after that next video, but I did do a video on this look and I love it. I just need to recurl the ends, but this look is everything. It's super, super cute and very simple in my opinion. And it's just hella cute so yeah i have a video going up and also have a video i think of this hair but if you're just wondering about this hair um i got this for my birthday i can't remember the name of the company but the hair details will be linked down below if you guys just want to check it out and get you some new hair for the fall and winter time i mean obviously my birthday is in the summer so this is technically the hair that i wore during the summertime but i still think it's hella cute you know what i mean but yeah anyway so for the month of september let's see let's see let me look in my in my calendar and see if any specific dates popped out so as we all know uh what's this labor day yeah okay so labor day weekend happened and the day after labor day literally the day after labor day i scroll on facebook and i see a status that i didn't expect to see that my little cousin passed away and i'm just like good god another one another one so if you haven't been keeping count of my life of how many funerals i've attended this year me attending my cousin's funeral the week after would have been death number five in my family. And I just really, 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 really praying that I'm getting a break the rest of the year. You know, I, I just I just need a break. I really need a two week vacation, but you know, to wear. But I I really need a break from the deaths and the turmoil and the crying and everything within my family. So yeah. So that's the bad thing that's happened so far in September is the passing of my cousin. And other than that, everything else has been going good in September. If you have noticed, I've been keeping up with the schedule of every Thursday at 12 o'clock. You know, what video is that for? The last Thursday of this month, I just didn't get around to it. But you know, technically this is the last week of September, so I'm still on track. You know what I mean? So I've been keeping on track with that. I've been trying to um, give you guys content that I think you guys would enjoy and also record videos that I know that I enjoy. Um, I've been uh, stepping up my game on my editing if you haven't noticed. Um, I downloaded the free trial of Final Cut Pro X and usually it's a 30 day trial but they have a 90 day trial now. So I've been, you know, learning that. I've been learning how to get more engagement on my uh, thumbnail. So I I have pick, pick Monkey now. So I've been learning how to use that. I've been learning how to use Final Cut Pro. Um, what else has been going on in September? Um, I have hella birthdays to celebrate this month. Uh, my little cousin Damari, he turned nine. I have my twins cousins, they're turning 31. My boyfriend's birthday is at the end of this month. Um, my friend Brittany's birthday is at the end of this month. 
uh my best friend's birthday was in the beginning of this month it was just so many birthdays in september and i have so many in october and november so yeah there's this a lot um what else has been going on in september oh so now this has to deal with me and i ain't going for it i didn't even watch it because it's at midnight and i was tired as hell but if, if someone can give me the cliff notes <laughs> of the Tory Lanez live video because I have no idea but from what I've read like I try to stay off of social media when it like two three days after it happened only because that's all I know I'm going to constantly see and truth be told I just don't give a damn I just don't care <laughs> I personally just do not care but because I already said how I feel in another video that I did when I think it was my August talks I already did a whole video about how I feel about the whole Tory Meg thing and yeah so if you want to know my feelings on that you can go watch that video but I just I truthfully just don't care I just don't care but of course that's the hot topic on the streets these days is the Tory Meg thing and then Another hot topic is the bullshit ass results of the Breonna Taylor thing. That was bull, bull, little shit. Okay, so basically, that one cop is going to go to jail for hitting the walls, but not for killing her. Gotcha, gotcha. And I don't give two shits about her past or what or whatever the hell happened no one deserves to die the way that she did no one deserves it whether she was sleeping in her bed whether she was not whether she used to do what she used to do and then she turned her life around and you know went on and did something better it does not matter her she still did not deserve to die the way that she did point blank motherfucking period period so that whole shit you know crazy world we living in this crazy world we living in so yeah what was y'all thoughts on that whole Breonna Taylor thing leave leave your thoughts down below because I really want to know I don't do the whole debating thing and going back and forth I say what I said and that's that's what it's going to be but you know I don't have no problem listening to other people's opinions and reading other people's opinions I've really learned how to read news articles and not read the comments because it goes down in those new articles um comments and people are just mad disrespectful and because you're not close to me i can't just pull up the way i would want to and if i had the funds and the means to i would catch flight to every last person who was talking smack but you know i don't live that type of lifestyle so you know I digress but I just can't I, I I'm detecting my peace by not reading the comments but I will still keep up with the news and read the articles of what's going on either in my city or around the world but just don't read the comments people protect your peace don't read the comments under articles because especially political articles or anything like that because you will get riled up you might say some things you didn't mean to say and shit can go left so just protect your peace people just don't read the read the news article and then click out don't even look at the comments or whatnot but um yeah i mean i don't know what else has been going on in september i just found out that lemon single is now on hulu so i've been been watching lemon single that's one of my all-time favorite black sitcoms i like it better <laughs> please don't kill me y'all i like it better than martin I can't front. I really, really love living single. Like when I was younger and I used to watch that, I was like, that's the life I'm going to live. I'm going to live in New York City with some with a group of girls. I don't know who the fuck I'm going to live with, but with a group of girls, I'm just going to live that living single life. You know what I mean? And I mean, <laughs> obviously New York ain't, ain't, I ain't got New York bread, so that was never going to happen. But you know, back in the day, that's what you wanted to do. Like, I knew that I always wanted to live in Harlem and I know I always knew I wanted to live in a brownstone if I was a move to Harlem and I just I just had this whole fantasy of 
how I, how I thought my life was going to be back in the 90s but yeah I just love that show I think that show is just fucking awesome and I uh I just think it's hilarious I love that show so I just been been watching living single um let's see let's let's add some favorites to the thing so living single is one of my favorites um as far as music wise if you don't know I am an R&B girl I love R&B it's my favorite genre out of all genres but the album I've been listening to the most in September let me see let me go to my library because I've been playing the crap out of it lately I just uploaded not upload I just downloaded the iOS 14 so everything is just so crazy y'all don't even know where anything is <laughs> like I really don't know like what happened to the part where it's like oh um the for you section that tells you the your most recent play or whatever I don't know but the one album I've been listening to a, a lot a lot is Vito for you um that album I think had didn't get enough credit it needs its credit it is amazing my indie artist of September has been Yo Train. I mean, his album is is old. I think it came out like I don't even know. It came out a while ago, but I just love it. Like I like that album. It's, it has a song on there. I think it's called the name of the uh, name of the album is called Moonlight. So I think the song that I like it's called Moonlight but the whole album is bomb. I've been listening to crap out of that um what else and yeah I think that's everything that I really have to say for September September has been a very very chill minus that one situation month for me you know it's getting cooler out here so I've done some shopping so I do have a fall haul coming up for you guys that actually should be the next video video you guys see after this um but yeah i got a fall haul coming up for you guys that's the only thing i like about the fall is buying the clothes up now i don't like nothing about the fall because i hate going out and i hate the cold so yeah but um yeah i've just been working on expanding my youtube and just working at my regular nine to five job and just you know getting my life together for September and now that the gyms are back open I can finally go back to the gym because I have a little punch and that needs to go away so I'm going to order me my little J sculpt belt and we're going to get this situated during the winter time so when the spring and summer comes back out I can be pow pow okay because the hips are growing I used to be a 36 I'm now 38 so I'm good on that if these can grow that would even be better but the stomach has definitely grew from a 25 to a 28 so we need to bring that back down to a 25 maybe a 24 you know let's let's bring this back now let's bring this back down but yeah you guys I really don't have much to say about this month talk just because it wasn't really that much going on so that's why I added in my little favorites that, um, you know, at the end of this or whatever, just to give this video some more uh, longevity and some girth to it. Because September has just been a really chill month for me. It's just been me working on myself and my YouTube and, you know, getting my apartment together. Which, by the way, apartment updates. I have apartment updates for you guys. So... I think in the nail I did like a nail glow up you guys saw that you know I had a a couch in a um coffee table so the newest thing that I brought is a dining room table I finally got a dining room table I got it from Wayfair now the issue is that one of the legs uh the holes didn't line up so I'm supposed to be getting a new chair leg coming in so I can have a full dining room uh dining room set so my living room is basically coming together 
Now I'm still iffy about if I want to get a rug or not, but just because I, the living room is small, so I don't want to keep adding all these things and making it smaller than what it is. So I don't know if I want to get a rug or not. That's still up in the air, but the last big piece I need to get, well, the last two big pieces I need to get for the living room is a full length mirror and a bar cart, which I found on, I found the mirror either on Amazon or Wayfair, and I found the bar cart on Overstock. So, yes. So that room is basically almost done and then I got to go back to um, Home Depot and get the, um, some paint so I can touch up around the edges of the walls and stuff like that. So that room is almost done. The kitchen is almost done. All I have left now to get for the kitchen is the pantry and that's it. So then we can start working on this room here and the bedroom. Now this room is basically... No, this room ain't done. The bedroom will probably be done before this room did because I picked the smallest room for myself. So the smallest room is small. So I can't add that much stuff in there. I just need to get a TV and I plan on getting a little storage ottoman um, and put that up against the wall so I can have some more storage and only other thing else I need to get for the bedroom is a carpet and um, two lamps. And my bedroom is basically done. So that room will probably be done sometime the beginning of the year. The living room probably should be done by the end of this year. And then by summer of 2021, maybe even spring 2021, this room will be done. And then I will have a full furnished apartment tour for you guys. So, yeah. Now I'm officially done with this video. I just wanted to give you guys some life updates, apartment updates. And just, you know, again, talk about the month of September and let you guys know how September has been going for me. So let me know down below, also in the comment section, how has September has been for you. We're almost done with this year. So let me know how how this year um how this month has gone for you. And yeah. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.